Topaz have been teasing Project Starlight for a little while now and today it came out. So today we're going to take a look at it. We're going to put it through its paces. We're going to see how it compares to other Topaz products and then how we can actually use it and if it's worth buying. So here are some examples on Twitter of some pretty historic footage getting upscaled. Not that one. So as of today, it's been publicly released and it's the first ever diffusion model for video enhancement. And so we're going to test it on some tough clips. I'm going to use some pretty noisy renders. It runs in the cloud and we can get free 10 second previews per week for free. And we can render up to 9,000 frames, five minutes at 30 FPS. All right, so let's check it out. So this is the render I'm going to be putting through. So if we jump to 3DS, I'll show you what I did. So I just put the render frame down to 0.3. Now I think this is it's over 30 seconds or it's 0.3 of a minute, which is like 23.3333 seconds. So if I render that, this is basically the result we're going to get and we're going to render 100 frames of this. So I just keyframed 100 frames and I'll render that out and we'll put it through Starlight. So when you get into the web app, you just hit upload video and here it is in all its noisy glory. Now there isn't like any settings or anything. So you just hit render, which is here. Um, and this took around 20 minutes and these are the results. All right, so we're gonna use the sliders to kind of reveal uh, the output and I've got to say is super impressive the, There is some flickering but going from what we had To this um, so you, obviously it's gonna speed up your renders and if we compare this to Topaz video So I normally use this to upscale videos from Kling or anything that the output has to be um, under 720. And in here, I mean, I am still on version three, but you've got the enhancement and we can use like denoise and ups, denoise and sharpen and We use high quality and if we preview that I mean the difference isn't huge when you compare it to Project Starlight this is one hell of an improvement going to save us tons of render time so one other experiment I wanted to look at was using Kling um, so what we can do here is put a first frame in And then I also wanted to put in an end frame. Whoops. Click that first. Um, so we've got first, we've got start and end frame. And then this is on 1.6, which is really good, highly recommend. Um, and then you'll hit generate. And this is what we got back. which isn't too bad at all. There is some artifacts here, which is, I mean, with the texture that's on that, it's pretty tough anyway to understand, even if I was an AI. But we can download that uh, without the watermark, and then we can compare it to the actual, the render we did. So this is the Kling um, AI frame, so first frame and last frame. And then once we've run it through uh, Topaz Starlight, this is the result. There's still something going on there, but I mean, compared to what it was, pretty impressive. So overall, like these tools should definitely not be ignored. So I know I've currently got so many subscriptions to so many different AI tools. Um, but if you ask my opinion on 
whether Starlight is a buy. It is a buy from me. Um, if you just look at this noisy animation on the left and what it comes out like, um, we should definitely be using this straight away.